since I'm doing my kitchen renovation, I need to make some um, breakfast meals. My kitchen will be down for about three weeks. So today we are going to make ham, au gratin potatoes, sausage gravy, biscuits, and breakfast casserole. Today I have my helper, Toby. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you do better than that? Hi. Okay, Toby's gonna help me today and I'm gonna start Toby out on peeling uh, 10 pounds of potatoes right now. The next thing I'm making is uh, uh, cheese and potatoes and it'd be like a casserole. So what we need, I grease my pan and we slice these up to about a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna put half of this Layer half of this down. Oh, let me get my butter. I'm melting butter on the stove while I'm doing this. So we're gonna layer these in here. These potatoes were from my garden. Now we're gonna add uh, some onions, which is also uh, from my garden. Okay, now we're going to add the ham. This is the ham that I baked the previous day, which is also in my uh, six freezer meal video that I had that we were preparing for the uh, kitchen renovation. Well, I like a lot of ham, so I guess put as much as you want on. <laughs> okay. The next thing we're gonna do is layer the rest of the uh, potatoes in the pan. The next thing we're going to do here, I've already melted the butter in the saucepan. We're going to add the uh, flour, which I, which I put in the garlic, the salt, and the pepper. We'll whisk, whisk that in for about a couple minutes. Keep uh, stirring it so it doesn't burn. Now that it's all melted, now we're going to um, Slowly, we're going to add the milk and then we're going to keep stirring it until it uh, thickens. Now we're going to add the uh, cheese to it and uh, stir it up until it's all, you know, all melted. Now we uh, slowly pour it uh, all in. Boy, is that thick. That's got to be good. <laughs> now that is a lot of cheese. So we'll spread it around. Boy, that's thick. Thick and cheesy and poke it down in there make sure all the cheese gets down in between there for our breakfast casserole I'm gonna make next um, I do need the sausage and I also need it for the um, sausage gravy so I'm just going to mix it all together. I have my own spices that I use. I have a couple of the store-bought ones only because um, I ran out. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the sausage and cook all this up. I just, there's three pounds of sausage, but I need two pounds to make sausage gravy and a pound to make uh, the, the breakfast casserole. It's just easier to get in here with your hands and do this. We are going to be renovating our kitchen, so my kitchen's going to be down for about three weeks. The only thing I'm going to have access to basically is the kitchen sink a little bit and a microwave. So that's why I'm making, trying to make up three meals ahead of time of everything. And I'm going to have to break down and use paper plates. <laughs> so.
add the uh, sausage and the uh, frozen uh, hash browns. Now I got mine with the onions and peppers in it. Then we're going to stir that up real good. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to scramble the eggs and then we're going to add the milk. A little bit of, well, salt and pepper to your taste. Now we're going to add the bag of cheddar cheese, spread it all around and then we're going to bake it at 350 for about 20-25 minutes. That's going to be good. Okay, now we're uh, making uh, sausage gravy. So this uh, has garlic and onion, and again, I have my sausage that I uh, put my own seasoning mix in. Now we're gonna add one and a half sticks of butter. I slice it up, mix it, go quicker to melt. Now don't drain the, um, the fat off your uh, sausage because you need that. Now we're going to put the milk in and this is fresh milk that I got from my Amish neighbor. So this morning we um, got it and I skimmed the fat off of it and I make butter with it. Next thing we're going to do is uh, add the flour, which will thicken, um, make a thickener out of it. So, and then we will slowly pour the milk in, stir it up real good, and then I will transfer it over into a bigger pan. Just keep stirring it up until you get the desired thickness you want. And if you need to add a little more salt and pepper to your taste, Okay, me and Toby's gonna make southern style biscuits. <laughs> You're not Toby. <laughs> it's our cat down here. Um, again, this is a recipe from uh, Big Family um, Homestead. So what we're gonna do now, Toby's gonna work in his area and I'm gonna work in mine. The uh, first thing we need to do is, is the dry ingredients. So Toby, I'm gonna go ahead and start with mine. Then I'll pass it down to you, okay? Yeah, and, and don't flop it in. <laughs> okay, got it? So then the next thing would be two tablespoons of uh, the baking powder. Whoa, mine won't fit in. Alright, let me get a, go ahead and do yours. Let's make it even now, though. Yeah, there you go. You did a better job than I did. Oh, I'm making a mess. My uh, tablespoon thing's too big. So let's put it this way. Just a little bit more here. Right. I'm going to do this one for you since it's, I can see you flopping it out.
once in a while I'll let Toby come in and help me out in the videos. He likes to do this. He says he wants to start his own cooking show. <laughs> now we're going to take the butter and we're going to cut it into the uh, flour until we get a lot of small pieces. I'm going to clean up a little while Toby's doing this. Or should I wait till you're done? <laughs> Now we're going to pour in the buttermilk and uh, stir it up and it, uh, the dough will be sticky. Then we're going to knead it on a flour counter for about a minute or longer. The next thing you do, we're going to roll the dough out about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. And then I like to use these mason jars, the wide mouth, to make perfect sized biscuits. Yeah. Wow. Look how fluffy. 